welcome back to this training series. So in this WordPress tutorial, you'll be learning how to write, edit, delete, schedule WordPress posts, and also hyperlink, add images, video, audio, and so on to your WordPress posts. This is not how the WordPress writing dashboard looks like. It looks like this, but I prefer using it in this form because I can see everything I want to work with. I can easily see it and choose what, what I want to I want on my post. For you to get this type of look on your WordPress site, writing dashboard, all you need to do is to install two plugins, which are Classic Editor and advanced editor to install and activate these two plugins to get this look of your wordpress writing dashboard so let's get started when you click new on your wordpress dashboard it will bring out something a blank page at this point, at this box, to add the title of your WordPress post. Then here, you add the body of the WordPress post. The body of your WordPress post. So if you're used to writing software to like Microsoft, you understand everything you understand almost everything on the wordpress writing dashboard on the wordpress writing dashboard however i'm going to walk you through on how to use these icons here for paragraph we have heading one heading two heading three to six then paragraph heading one this is a one. There can only be one a one in a WordPress post. So make sure you don't use a one on your WordPress content. This is the a one. For adding two, adding two is a subcategory. It's a sub adding of a one. So you can use a one adding two on your WordPress post. Adding three is like a sub a sub adding of adding two. The same thing with adding four is a sub adding of adding three. This is the adding one. For adding two, adding two is a sub category, it's a sub adding of adding one. So you can use adding one adding two on your WordPress post. Adding three is like a sub a sub adding of adding two. The same with adding four is a sub adding of adding three. Then bold. If you want to bold something on WordPress, you double click or highlight it, then click on bold. The same thing with this highlight. Also with this, there's quotes. You want to make it a quote for me. You highlight and quote. You want to make something in a bullet form. All you do is highlight everything you want to to be in a bullet form. Highlight it, then click number list. You can see it. The reason why we're having this space here is because the reason why we're having that there is because of the space. You can change it. You can delete those spaces. Anything you want to do on the WordPress writing dashboard, you have to highlight it before you can do it. You can see what I'm doing. So 
So you just play around with all this stuff. How to hyperlink on WordPress writing dashboard. All you have to do is highlight the link you want it to be a clickable link. Highlight it. Click on this icon. Then copy and paste or type the URL you want to be hyperlink. Do you want it to be hyperlink? You type it here and click on OK. And the other settings, you can go, go here. The link, if you want it to be open in another tab, you click it. Forget about this refollow and sponsor. We're going to talk about this in our SEO tutorials. You can choose from the WordPress. If it's an internal link, you can choose from here. But if it's an external link, you copy the URL you want to hyperlink and paste there. For internal, click on here, click on add. As you can see, we have hyperlink the text. So if you want to remove this hyperlink you've made, you can click on it and click this. The, there are a lot of hyperlink text on your article. You can do it once. The, the way you can do it, you can, instead of clicking on individual text and, and remove the link, all you have to do is highlight everything you want to remove link from and click on this icon. Once you do it, everything will be removed. All the hyperlink will be removed. Then this section undo. You can see it as undo, redo. Then for font, font. I don't usually touch this point. I leave the font the way it is, so I don't touch this. It's left for you for you to know if you would like to change the font or not. For the font size. I usually leave the font size the way it is 12 on a default. I don't touch that too. So I advise you not to touch that. For this, I usually do after I have bullet point a text or text or, or, or some words. Let's say, for example, bullet pointed this. Then I want this. To be under this, I'm making a point that AdSense is under um, AB testing is still under AdSense. All I do is to click on this point, then click this. As you can see, you can see it. See. So that is it. That is it. Also, we also have the option to change text and um, to change the color of a text. If you want to change the color of your text, you highlight it, you click here, then choose the color of your text. Then for table, If you want to add table to our text, to our post, WordPress post, all you have to do is to click the point you want the table to be located at. You click the point, then click on table. You choose the table, column and, and row. And after you click it, you can see we have added the table to our WordPress post. Then for this, ignore this. This is this is from a plugin I'm using. That's why you can see this here. Then let me show you how to add image to your WordPress post. If you want to, if you want to add an image to your WordPress post, 
all you have to do is to click the point you want the image to be located to be added you click on add media then click the the image you want to be you want to add to your post if the image you want to add is not on your wordpress media library is on your device all you have to do is to click on upload files select files then locate the point where the image is on your device your mobile device or whatever device you are using then you click on the image then click open then after it has open all you need to do is to click on insert image you also have the option to set the alt text the title of the text of the image the description I want um, the size of the image you can change the size of the image here then after that you click on insert if you want to get full tutorial on how to add image on your WordPress post you can check the description link below for an article I've written about how to add image to your WordPress post. If you want to add video to your WordPress post, video, audio to your WordPress post, you see the same process. Click on media, click on the point you want the audio file or the video to be located, to be placed. Then you click on add media, locate where the video or the audio file is click on it and click on insert into post if it's not on your, on your media library you go to upload files look for it and upload it or insert it into your post after you've done this you are ready to publish your post under here you can save draft if you're not ready to publish it click on save draft or you can preview your post to see how it looks like before you finally publish it click on preview you can see how it looks like when you publish it on your post this is how it will look like then visibility you have the option to edit this if you want your your post to be seen by everybody then leave it the way it is leave it at public leave it at public you can click this if you want this post to stick to be at the front page it will remain at the front page even though you're making new articles and making new posts this post will be at the front page of your blog then click this password protected what this means is if you click on this you're going to set a password which people or your users will need before they can get access to your wordpress post if you don't want everybody to view your wordpress post you can click on if you don't want everybody to view your WordPress post unless they have the password, you can use this to set it. Only those with the password can gain access to your WordPress post. You can click on private if you want it to be private only. You click on private and click on OK, but we're going to leave it at public. So it's left for you to make the decision on how you want your WordPress post to be. Either public, password protected, or private. It's left to you. 
then this is the point I'm going to show you how to schedule your WordPress post. You can see at this point, right? Publish on March 12th, 2022. You can, if you want to publish, if you want to schedule your WordPress post, you click on edit. Then at this point, you can choose the, the date you want the WordPress post to be published. And choose the date. If you don't want it to be at the moment, you don't want it to be when you, you publish it immediately, you can change this date to whatever you want it to be, to that a particular date you want it to be. If not, leave it the way it is and click on publish. But before you click on publish, let's scroll down. Oh, we have FS poster this plugin is a is a premium pro plugin i bought from code canyon you can use it to post on your on your social media medium reddit pinterest whenever you publish it's a very very good wordpress that can save you lots of time publishing to social media at the same time or at a particular time you want it to be published Category. Before you publish, you click on the category you want it to be for blogging. If it's a, uh, depending on your niche, select the category, or you want to add a new category for that particular WordPress post. You click on add, add new category. Then type the category you want it to be. Then click on add new category. For tag, click, type the, the name of the tag you want the WordPress post to be. Let's say I want this WordPress post to be on WordPress tutorial. I've already, I already have this tag on my on my site, so I click on WordPress tutorial. Let's say I want to add another one. Another one. Let's say I want to add it under team i don't have team as a tag on my wordpress site so if i click on team and click on add new add it has automatically created a new tag for my wordpress post if you want to understand the difference i want to know more about tag and category check my video description you see a link to an article about tags and category and how to use them properly for your WordPress post. Then featured image. Featured image is an image that displays at the front end of your WordPress post. If you go to the home, my home page, you see something like this. This is a featured image. Featured image of my post. Visual image is the first image on my post that is at the front end of my post before you click on my post that is visual image so if you want to choose this visual image click on set visual image then select the image you want it to be set as visual if you don't want this to be a visual image all you have to do Go to upload files, locate the file, the image you want to, you want to be set as featured image from your device and click on set featured image. Let's use this as a featured image. This is it. After you've done everything, you can then click on publish. You click on publish. Let's go on to how to edit your post on WordPress. Let's say you want to edit, uh, you go to all posts from your WordPress dashboard. Then you have to opt two options. Either use edit or quick edit. If you click on quick edit, you can easily edit your WordPress post without going to the WordPress writing dashboard. 
from here you can you can edit the title the sludge that's the url of your post you can change the category and also add tag or remove tag change the dates make it private and after you've done that or you can change it back to draft you change this post back to draft then click on update so that is how to edit your wordpress post without going to your wordpress writing dashboard then if you still want to edit the content the body of your wordpress post click on edit instead of quick edit then to delete a wordpress post maybe there's a wordpress post you don't you want to delete all you have to do is to click on trash you click on trash it click on trash it will delete the wordpress post then you can find the deleted wordpress post at this point a trash box so here you find all the deleted content wordpress post here if it's a post you like to edit later or still work on do not trash it instead change it to draft any post that comes into this point after some days it will automatically be deleted from this box from this point if you delete a post if you want to restore that post you click on restore post when you click on restore post it will restore the post to how it was before if it was draft before you deleted it to go back to draft if it was published before you deleted it it's going to go back to being published so that is how to write edit delete schedule and add images videos and audio files to your wordpress post if this is your first time of watching our video please like subscribe and comment if you have any question see you in the next video